first question is if it's linear or quadratic. Okay, what do you see here then? Linear. Okay, so the two equations are linear equations. So, um, what method we can use different method to solve simultaneous equation? What method would you like to? Elimination. All right. So, what's the first thing do you think we do? Um, see if any of the any of the letters are the same. Good. But before before that, we number them A, A B. B. Okay, two distinct equations there. Can we eliminate the x variable or the y variable at this stage? No, not yet. Okay, so what variable do you want to get rid of? Um, the x. Okay, so how do we? How can we do that? Um, you have to make the. You have to find the high, highest common multiple. No, lowest common multiple. Good. Lowest common multiple between three and two. So what's the lowest common multiple between three and Six. two? Six. So in. So how can we then turn? 3x into 6x. Um, times the whole equation by 3, 2. 2. So we're going to multiply equation A, all of equation A by 2. So we get 6x plus, plus 4, 4 y, y equals, equals um, 22. Good. Call that equation C. And then what do you do? Um, then you multiply B by 3, which is 6x. So 6x minus 15y equals 3. And just in case you make a mistake, uh, try it out somewhere else. So 6x take away 6x, it gives you 0. So you have eliminated it. So you can be sure that you take away um, to eliminate. So that cancels out. Now 4y take away negative 15y. You've got to be careful here. So 4y take away negative 15 What's the rule here? Um, neg two negatives equal a positive. Not two negatives. When you subtract a negative value, it is as if you're adding the two values there. So 4y plus 15y equals to 19y here. So that will give you 19y. And that gives you 22 take away 3? 19y. Um, 19. There's no y here. Oh, 19, sorry. OK. Um, so how do we find y? We divide both sides by 19. So y is equal to 1. So you have now found the value of y. I forgot to mention, call that equation d. Now, for our next step, now that you have found y, what do you think you should do to find x? You need to substitute y into the equation, <coughs> any equation. Right, so by substituting y equals to 1, onto equation which one a b a. yeah a doesn't matter which one equation a um, we have 3x plus 2 bracket, my bracket 1 okay good and what do I do we expand the bracket plus 2 carry on minus 2 on both sides carry on 3x equals 9 then divide both sides by 3 so therefore that gives you 1x x equals 3 that's your solution okay